Hello, how are you? This is Kay. Great to see you again, and I hope you have a great weekend today. So today is the 10th of December on Sunday, so I will be doing the weekly forecast as a Sunday's uh, weekly topic. So today I will be covering the um, Forex pairs on my watch list and also WTI and gold indices and also BTC USD. And this is a video, not a live stream, but I hope you will enjoy this recording and learn something new and prepare for your trades um, this week. So before I start, um, I would like to announce one thing um, that the GTS, the Global Trading School in January 2024 is now open and there are still a couple of seats available. So this is the three months training course and you can actually study my full strategy and I will be following up, up 101. We have weekly meetings and this is the three months complete program. And if you're interested, if you can click on the below description, you can actually access to this web page and you can see full details of the course. And what's more, you can actually find some of the interview videos with my students here. So you may found some of these videos to be interesting because um, you will see exactly see how they change before and after they finish the GTS program. And also, um, I post my uh, monthly performance since 2021 in this web page. So by looking at these videos, you will exactly know how I have been trading and what my performances are every month. And plus, if you scroll down all the way, then you can actually also find my live entry and exits. So, um, Please enjoy those videos. And again, if you're interested, uh, please let me know by email about the GTS class. So now let me switch screen to trading view and start the analysis. So first, let me cover the Forex pairs. I will cover from Euro USD all the way down to Swiss franc JPY. So this is a weekly time frame and First, Euro USD seems to be range still. Last week was bearish, and but overall it's, it's still flat because the Kumo is too small, Kijun Sen is flat, and Chikou Span is touching the candlesticks. So in this case, uh, this is range. So last week was bearish, but this week may be bullish or doji or range. So there is no direction on Euro USD. Uh, this pair is downtrending in the short term, so you can follow sellers, um, you know, uh, sellers momentum uh, this week, but it may turn bullish anytime. So with that in mind, you can sell Euro USD this week. But we may have better pairs to trade, so let me go over some other pairs too. So next one is the Euro JPY. Euro JPY was bearish. Well, last week, um, as you may see already, JPY pairs were bearish, and Euro JPY sold very much. And now it broke the Kijun Sen and also Ichimoku Senko Span B and Senko Span Era flat, and Chikou Span will be touching when the market opens Monday. So that means this is also range. So it doesn't mean that the market goes bearish, but rather my expectation is that this week the market will lose the direction and we may have doji or pin bar. So uh, let's see how it plays out. But if the market keeps going down, then I follow downtrend and target is going to be the weekly Kumo. So we'll see how it plays out. And next is the Euro C80. Euro CAD has been range and there is no trend. Last week, the market touched the Kijun Sen. However, the Kumo is too small and too thin on the weekly, and Chikou Span is still very close to candles. So, overall, it's range and there is no direction in the market. And next one is the Euro AUD. Euro AUD is also range, there is no trend either. 
the Kumo's flat, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou span is also very close to the candles. So there is no trend. However, in terms of the wave, this is bearish. We have a bearish in the wave. So uh, we may see down to bearishness this week. And also, if you closely look at the last week candlestick, it was resisted by the Kijun Sen. And this became a pin bar. So that means the market is rather bearish. So if I see downtrend this week, I will follow. But if it goes bullish, then I won't enter trade. That's Euro AUD. Okay, next is the Euro Pound. Euro Pound is also range completely. Uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span touching. In terms of the wave, this is also no trend. Yeah, for the last, for the week of the 20th of November and 27th November, they were bearish, but last week was a uh, doji and bullish. So it may turn bullish from here, and the market may go up to Kijun Sen on the weekly, which is 0 0.8628, but we'll see. Overall, it's range, so we may see another doji or another very small candlestick this week. So next is the Euro Swiss franc. Euro Swiss franc is now bearish, so I mark purple. And the reason is because Kumo is down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both bearish, and Chikou Span below the candles. So the market may break the support level here on 0 0.9414. And once it does, this can be one of the best pairs. So Euro Swiss franc would be better to sell but if it goes bullish, then no trend, no trace. Because um, I say if it goes bullish, but most likely I think it will range and it may spike up and down. So you won't be able to trade if it goes bullish from here. But if it breaks a port, then downtrend will be continuous and that will be much better situation. So let's monitor Euro Swiss franc and see if it breaks the support level of again 0 0.9414. So next, moving on to the pound base pairs. So pound USD is also range. It's completely ranging now. Kumo flat and very thin and flat. Kijun Sen is also flat. Tenkan Sen is slightly bullish, but overall it's flat and Chikou Span touching. So there is no trend. In times of the price action, there is no trend either. So we never know if this week will be bullish or bearish. So I will simply skip this one and move on to pound JPY. Pound JPY is now interesting because last week as the other JPY pairs, this one was also bearish, but it was supported by the weekly Kijun Sen. And also Kumo is still bullish. And the Chikou Span touching, so it's range. But in this case, my idea is that, so the pound may be stronger over JPY and it may turn bullish from here. And if it does, then Chikou Span bounce. It's called a Chikou Span bounce, where Chikou Span will be supported by the candlesticks and goes bullish this way. So the best option, I think, in this case is to buy pound JPY. And also, you may notice that there is um, the trend line bounce here. So the market may keep supported by the trend line and goes up this way. So we'll see. Pound JPY is bullish, so I mark purple. Okay, next is the pound CAD. Pound CAD has been completely ranging too, or Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching. And Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross is happening, but overall it's range, so the best option is to wait for the break of 1.7387, then buy. And up to that level, there is about 278 pips. And I don't think it will break this week. But sometime December, it may break the resistance and keeps going up 
So let's monitor together closely. So next is the pound AUD, right? Pound AUD is also range. Well, simply Kumo flat, both a single span B flat, A flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, both flat, and Chikou span is also very close. So there is no trend. However, we may we see that there is uh, this is called a P wave. So P wave is the triangle range. Same thing we say it P wave in Ichimoku. So in this case, we have to wait for the breakout towards either direction. My feeling is that it breaks bearish, and that will be the better scenario to sell than buy. So I'm waiting for the breakout of the P wave bearish. Then I think the market goes bearish more stronger. So we'll see how it plays out. Now it's range, so this week it may not break. So we'll see. We'll continue to monitor this one too. And next is the pound Swiss franc. So pound Swiss franc is also completely ranging. So there is no direction, no trend, no trace. As you can see at a glance, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span is also very close. And the market has been very choppy and range. So no trend, no trace. Okay, now moving on to the USD base pairs. So first, USD JPY. And USDJPY was also supported by the previous, uh, by, sorry, the Kijun Sen first, Kijun Sen level, and also the previous resistance, which is around 144.75. If you closely look at the candlestick, it didn't close below 144.754. So that means there's a still potential that the market goes bullish from here. Um, especially if this resistance works as a support this time, then we may see another nice bullish trend. However, if it breaks the Kijun Sen and also the previous resistance, then it comes down to Kumo. So it, here we have to wait for uh, the new market direction, whether, which way it's going, and then follow that new direction. For now, we never know which way it goes, so we'll see. And next is the USCCAD. This pair is also completely range. Where Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou span is very close. So no trend, no trace. And next is um, USCC franc. This market is also range. Last week retraced. So if last week candlestick was bearish, then I would still say that this has been continuously bearish and target would be the previous support. But last week became bullish, so now rather the target is on the weekly Kijun Sen, which is 0 0.8897. And we have a room of, room of uh, 100 pips to trade. So if it goes bullish, we can still buy. So we'll see how it plays out. This is very short term, but uh, it's, it's possible to trade like this way. So next is um, AUD pairs. So AUD USD is now range to uh, Kumo again flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou Span is also very close. So yeah, the market went up, went bullish, and now it's touching the Kumo and looks like it's been bearish. So short term seems to be bearish, but we will see. It may break Kumo this week and goes bullish too. So because at this, at this time it's range as per Ichimoku. And when it's range, it's 50-50 buyers and sellers of volumes. So that means the market can go either way. And you don't want to take 50-50 chance on your trades because that will be gambling. So um, here I prefer to stay away or at least wait for the new direction to happen and then decide what to do. So next is um, AUDJPY. AUDJPY also retraced heavily and it's on the Kijun Sen now of 95.17 area and Chikou Span is now touching. Kumo itself is bullish but Kijun Sen flat and it broke the Tenkan Sen so 
to me, this is range. We can't, I can't really think which way it's going right now. So simply when I find the new direction, I follow it. Okay, next is um, ADCAD. ADCAD is rather bearish in a very short term. And the reason is because first, Kijun Sen is being flat um, 0 0.8838 and Kumo also flat. That means Kijun Sen is now becoming the mid price, the middle, middle price of the range, right? This is called the Kijun Sen retracement strategy, which I created a short video the other day. So that means I think the market retraces down to Kijun Sen and we can expect the pips of about 87 to trade. So if it goes bearish, you can follow downtrend and target on the weekly Kijun Sen. But if it goes bullish, then better wait for the breakout of the Kumo and the resistance area, then buy after that. So far to me, it's, it's bearish. That's ADCAD. Okay, next is uh, ADC franc. This market is completely range. So there is no direction. However, one thing, well actually two things is that first, Senko Span A is bearish. Senko Span A is the lower part of the Kumo. So it's bearish. Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. And this is one thing. And second thing is that this is now descending P wave, where the support levels are at the same level, 0 0.56127, and the highs are lower. So this is to me now descending P wave. So I think the market goes bearish down to 0 0.5612 area, then keeps ranging and breaks bearish, you know, eventually. So we'll see how it plays out. So that means if it goes bearish, I look for the selling opportunities, but if it goes bullish, then I'm not gonna buy. Yeah, because if it goes bullish, even if it breaks the trend line, I think the market becomes choppy anyways, because of the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat situation still. So I think downtrend sell will be the right call on the ADC rank from this perspective. Okay, so now uh, let me check CAD pairs. So CAD JPY was also sold, and this one broke the Kijun Sen, Chikou Span touching, and now it's range. So no trend, no trace. And next is the CAD Cis franc. CAD Cis franc is now becoming bearish, uh, and it's almost breaking 0 0.6408 level. And now Kumo is down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen. Kijun Sen is now flat, but Tenkan Sen is bearish and Chikou Span below candles. So that means this week it may break 0 0.6408. So we'll see. Let me put down a row. Once it breaks, you can follow down trend. Okay, finally, Swiss franc JPY. Swiss franc JPY is still bullish because it's above the Kijun Sen. Kumo is bullish too. And Chikou Span is now getting closer, but it's technically above the candles. So to me, it's bullish. It may be supported also by this descending trend, uh, this uh, ascending trend line. So it may bounce and go bullish continuously. So we'll see, Swiss franc JPY. So this is my Forex pair analysis on my watch list. So now let me move on to gold and WTI. Okay, so commodity and gold. Okay, yeah, so in terms of gold, last week was very aggressive. You may already, already seen it, but uh, gold, uh, last week, it broke the resistance level um, on the 4th of December. And then when I see the breakout, I thought the market follows bullish trend, but then I stopped trading buy. And the reason is because of the weekly Kumo and Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen situation. Again, if you look at the weekly chart, then this Kumo part has been very thin, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen together. So this means that the market is overbought and sellers have to come in this situation. You can actually see many examples in the past, so you can study backtest 
the think more, look for the think more and tenkan sen, kijun sen together, most likely it's overbought. Retracements are happening. And that's exactly what happened in gold last week. And that's why I didn't jump in buy here. And then now it's retracing. So in terms of the weekly chart, Kijun Sen still below the candles, but my feeling is that Kijun Sen will be flat next week and um, market retraces Kijun Sen 9081.55. But that will be very short term. After that, we never know which way it goes. So let's continue to monitor and see how it plays out. Okay, next is WTI. WTI, crude oil, the market broke the Kumo last week. So it broke the Kumo and looks like now it's heading down to 64.63. Um, and once it breaks, you know, it's going to be, I think, the next big bearish run. So we'll see. Here, there are some minor supports, but overall, it should be bearish. So let's see. Yeah, now WTI is bearish in terms of the weekly time frame. Okay, so now let me cover uh, indices. So first, Nikkei 2 to 5. Nikkei was sold last week. And um, still, this resistance level is so strong, very firm on this resistance zone of 37, sorry, 33,781. So now it touched Kijun Sen, Chikou Span touching, so we never know we, which way it goes. It may be supported by the Kijun Sen and goes up, or it breaks and comes down to Kumo. We can't really tell which way it's going right now. So let me move on to next uh, Dow Jones. So Dow Jones was so strong last week. It broke the resistance level of um, 35,672. And now it's reaching the all-time high, which is around uh, here, 36,953. So, and it may happen. The market may reach there because the Kumo is not too thin. Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen together, but I think they will separate tomorrow or next week. And then I think the market goes up to that resistance. So Dow Jones, to me, it's bullish. Okay, so next is um, Nasdaq. Yeah, Nasdaq also broke the resistance level of 15,929.9 and now it's bullish. Last week, candlestick was the pin bar and somehow it closed above that resistance. So that means it's bullish. I think the market is bouncing and goes up. So, so far NASDAQ looks the best over Dow Jones among the US indices. And now the target is going to be also the next swing high, which is around 66,675. So we'll see how it plays out. I will mark the red arrow above like this way. Okay, so next is S&P 500. This one is also bullish, but it's near the resistance, right? 46.04.7. And uh, there was also even previous resistance level there too. So I think this level is significant. Again, 4604.7 is significant. And it may retrace this week, is my feeling. But let's see how it goes. Now seems to be bullish for the last couple of weeks. And in this momentum, it may break the resistance closely. So let's see. Okay, so next is the Euro stocks. Euro stocks is also bullish now, and it broke, the, I think this was all-time high resistance, 4488.6, right? This chart started in 2010. So yeah, since 2010, at least, this one is now all-time high. And if you look at the Kumo shape, it's a bit thin, and also Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are together. So now you remember that this is overbought. 
So that means this week or in the month of December, maybe trace goes back, you know, below the resistance. And we'll see what happens. Okay, next is FTSE 100, UK 100. This one market is still range. No trend, no trace. And the price is exactly within the Kumo, Chikospan touching, Kumo flat. So there is no trend on this one. Okay, next is the CAC France. CAC France has bullish um, and it's breaking the resistance level of uh, 75.18.96. This is just on the resistance and even the previous resistances. It was on uh, 75.73.66. So the market is now I think market will consolidate in this range at least once, I think. So then it retraces and goes up this way. So we'll see. So that's CAC runs. And next is German 40. German 40 is also bullish and it broke the all-time high of 16,528. And now I said that this week it may reach 16,800 and it did. So now the target is one, um, 17,000. Again, next weekly, next week, uh, I mean this week target is 17,000. It may reach, it may reach, and then there will be a big pin bar, then it may retrace also. So always, you know, uh, look for this uh, potential setup or think ahead, then get prepared psychologically. And the reason why I say this is because it's overbought. Again, Tenkan and Kijun Sen are together and they are pointing up. This is overbought sign. So I think the market retraces at some point. So that's my view on German 40. Okay, so next is Nifty chart. Nifty is also bullish. It was amazing jump last week However, again, Tenkan and Kijun Sen are very close. So when it starts to retrace, it happens very fast. So if you want to lock some profit, I recommend to exit at some point and take the most profit from the market. Now it's reaching 21,000. Right, 21,000. And the next target is 21,200 or 21,400, these areas. But yeah, overall Nifty is too bullish. It may be traced, but overall it's bullish. So we'll see. Okay, next is Australia 200. This one market is now range in terms of Ichimoku viewpoint because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both flat and Chikou Span touching. So there's no trend, no trace. Okay, finally Hansen index. Hansen has been bearish now. There was a Kumo going down, Tenkan Kijun Sen bearish both at the same time, and then Chikou Span below candles. Right, so this is completely bearish. And the target is on the previous support, 14,594. So we'll see how it plays out. Hansen index to me is now bearish. Okay, so that covered the whole market analysis. So now let me remind you about the news, the fundamental news. Because every time you enter trades, you have to check news and make sure that there is no big news ahead. If there's a big news, then stay away. Do not, you know, trade is my uh, recommendation. Okay, so Monday, the 11th, we have no big news only um, oh, so this is technically Tuesday morning. In the Asian session, there will be RBA governor uh, Bullock speech in Australia. In Tuesday 12th, we have um, yeah, unemployment unemploy rate in the UK and also CPI in the US. That's it. CPI in the US can be high impact, so just be careful on next Tuesday. And Wednesday the 13th, we technically in the morning, we have Tankan Large uh, Manufacturing Index. So it may impact the market as well. 
and also later part there will be a CPI um, in the US. Yeah, so producers price index PPI in the US and also um, rate decision in the US too. So yeah, this can be very important next week too. And technically, uh, Thursday the 14th in Asian session, there will be GDP uh, report in New Zealand and also um, unemployment rate in Australia and also monetary policy in Switzerland. And then also rate decision in UK and also in Euro itself. Retail sales in the US and then also ECB press conference towards the end. So we have lots of big news on, um, on Thursday. So just watch out. Okay. And finally, Friday the 15th, we have um, composite PMI and manufacturing PMI in Germany and also um, another PMI report in Euro itself and also um, uh, S&P Global composite PMI in UK. So these are high impact news. And finally, uh, GDP, uh, global monetary PMI in the US also. So to wrap up, we have big news on uh, from Tuesday, we have multiple big news. And Tuesday and Wednesday, especially Thursday, right? Especially Thursday, the 14th, we have to be careful, and 15th also. So overall, we have lots of big news. So make sure that you don't, you know, you don't fully, you know, trade right before this big news. Oh yeah, and also, I for, sorry, I forgot to review Bitcoin, BTC USD, because I know some of you trade cryptos. I never trade cryptos. I never suggest anyone, but uh, yeah, let me just do analysis for your information. So here's a weekly chart, BTC USD, and now what can you see? You can see that the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen too close together. So that means this is overbought. So the market may reach 48,273, then I'm sure it will retrace. Or now, within the daily time frame, I see that there is a doji candlestick, sorry, uh, inside bar. So if the inside bar breaks bullish, I follow. But if it doesn't, if it keeps ranging, then I never follow. So that's how you anticipate the next scenario. So yeah, let's see. Let's see if it breaks the inside and see how it takes, takes place. So that's BTC USD. So that completed my whole analysis among the markets. So again, Forex pairs, Euro Swiss franc is now bearish. So let's wait for the breakout of 0 0.9414 and also pound JPY looks also very good setup. Once it breaks, once it uh, breaks the trend line, it may turn bearish. So we will see. So I say to focus these two pairs, but you know, you have to check chart every day. You have to screen all the markets every day. That's what I do because we never know which one sprouts and which one, you know, trends newly. Unless we check charts every day, we know we, we not only know that which market is trending, but also you may you may lose opportunities. So that's why I recommend to check charts every day. Okay, so that completed my whole analysis and the information to share. So again, in the end, the GTS, the global trading school in January 2024 is now open and there are some seats available still. This is up to five members five seats in the group, so uh, please uh, write me email if you're interested to join. And again, if you come to my webpage, GTS webpage, you can access from the link on the below the description. You can see all the details of the course and schedule. And also, you may find these interviews to be interesting here. You may find some of the students from your region 
So maybe you can relate their talk. So here I have many interview videos and also my monthly performance since 2021. I have been sharing the videos and then also you will see my live entry and exits videos. So uh, yeah, please um, just enjoy, explore and um, enjoy those uh, videos too. Okay, so I guess that's it for everyone. Thank you very much for joining today and watching this video. If you liked it, please press like button be it. that would be great. And see you in the next one. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Okay, bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.